All right, so today we are looking at the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Harley Quinn. Coming in your standard packaging that we've been seeing so far. If you haven't seen my other McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse reviews, check them out. I do have a couple of Supermans and a Batman review up. Here is the side of the box down below. And in case you guys are interested in ordering these figures, you can do so at uh, BigBadToyStore.com. I got several links down below in the description where you can click and check out the figures they have you can pre-order so here's the side and then here's the other side or the back side I should say the Harley Quinn artwork and then some future releases that are coming up and just like every other figure we got a base and we get a trading card included and then here is our Harley Quinn out of the box and she looks very good I like the look and <laughs> She actually has better articulation than any figure that I've uh, reviewed so far from this wave. And that is because, if you haven't noticed already, she has double jointed hobo. So look at her holding her big old mallet and she can put her uh, other hand on her waist. So, very nice. Why do we include double joints on Harley and not Batman or Superman or everyone else? I don't know why. But uh, I'm glad he did um, put it on Harley. I just don't get why it wasn't included with any other figure. So that's very interesting. So I don't know. But uh, she does have double jointed elbows. And that's about it. Everything else is exactly the same. She doesn't really have those thigh swivels that are needed. Uh, that growing articulation. Um, but everything else looks pretty good. Oh, and if you haven't noticed already, she is on her base because she is very difficult to stand up. She has kind of like high heels and just very, very hard to balance and get her to stand. I'm sure it's possible, but um, I'm just wasting too much time doing that. So I just put her on the base. So she does not come with anything in terms of hands or heads. Uh, so the hands you see is what you get right there so two open hands and that's all but we do get some accessories here and look how nicely detailed this is so I like that that looks good looks like a donut at the end and then we get a little pea shooter or gun that shows bang on the end of it so like a joker type prank and uh, I'm sure we'll see joker pretty soon Alright, so let's fully go through her articulation. The head's going to swivel left and right. It's actually a 360 degree turn. She does look up and down. Kind of tilts her head as well, so that's nice. The arms are going to go forward and back all the way. In and out, we have a nice little shoulder socket that actually moves a lot, unlike uh, Superman and Batman, since they're really, really bulky. Uh, we have a bicep swivel double jointed elbow beautiful then we have a swivel at the wrist with a hinge at the wrist um, and she doesn't really have those ugly wrists that everybody hates and it's covered by these little uh, wrist ribbons here diaphragm joint that swivels back look at that very far back and then forward very far forward we get a swivel at the diaphragm joint and the waist legs will kick forward very stiff as you hear the squeaking and it doesn't really go forward as great as you would want it to. It kind of goes at an angle. Uh, but it's something, I guess. She can do a full split. And then you can see the groin there. Not, you know, no thigh swivel, unfortunately. Double jointed knees. Then we have an ankle that hinges forward and back. And there is a rocker at the ankle with a toe hinge. A super deep toe hinge at the foot. And there she is a little bit more up close. You can take a look at her. I think the paint job's done very well. Although I do have a little nick on this side of the face. It's not too terrible though. And uh, everything looks good. I think this might be my favorite one so far that I've reviewed. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that the double jointed elbows are here. And then the shoulder socket actually serves a good purpose here. You actually get more range from that. And, of course, the overall look looks really good. This is your classic Harley Quinn. And it looks good. The only thing that's missing, maybe some extra stuff, like alternate heads would be nice. Alright, so first up, I got the animated Superman McFarlane DC Multiverse figure. And uh, he stands about the same height, almost. Maybe a little taller. Then I'll throw in the Action Comics number 1000 McFarlane DC Multiverse Superman too. 
get them spaced out. And of course we have her next to the animated series Batman. So that looks good even though this Harley Quinn is not the animated series Harley. This is just a classic Harley. They still look uh, like they would go together. It looks, looks pretty good. Until we get the animated version, I think this should uh, be pretty decent to display together. There she is next to a Mayfix Spider-Man. Next to the Mesco Wonder Woman and the Marvel Legends Rogue. Alright guys, and that's going to do it for the Harley Quinn DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figure. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review. If you did, check out my other DC Multiverse McFarlane figure reviews. And uh, leave a like and comment. Let me know what you guys think of this Harley. Uh, let me know what you guys think so far of the line. And uh, as always, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And have a good day. Bye. That's crisp.